Welcome to The Calling, the online show where we get to talk to creatives from across Zimbabwe and get to find out how they work and how they create some of the incredible content. Today we've got the award winning Vusa Flax. Yeah. He creates music videos that are just incredible with artists that we all recognize and know, including Trevor from yeah. latest album, Yaja Appraiser, yeah. and he did all of the music videos for that yes, for the latest album. So congrats on that. So today we just want to find out how you have your creative process and how you started off in the music industry. So we just mentioned Jar Fraser's new album, Hokoyo, which you which you did all the music videos for. Out of all of the videos, which one was your favorite? Uh, man, that's such a tough question because Every project that I, I take on has its own challenges and its own beautiful moments and its own, you know, tri little triumphs and, and all that. So it's hard to pick a favorite. But um, if I were a fan mm. of blacks out there, I would easily pick Nyarat. Uh, yeah. And if, if I were a fan of blacks who's a bit more into the artsy stuff, I'll easily pick um, Quiet, the one with the black makeup and everything. Yeah. But for me, as, as the creator of those videos, I love all of them because they all represent different parts of my experience as a creative. So they're all building blocks. I, I cannot say this one is better than that. All of them are, just, are great. They're amazing. Yeah. I would say Mnyara is actually my favorite yeah. because I love the fact that it's, a, it's actually a story. Yeah. But like, how many music videos have you? Would you say definitely you've done total? <laughs> I have no idea. Lost count. There's so many of them. This ah man, I have no idea. I, I can't even like even give you a proper figure. But yeah, yeah. But my question now is like, um, so you've got so many music videos that you've done. How do you keep your creativity? How do you create unique music videos, one after the other, with unique content? Yeah. It's um innocent. That's, um, I know that's like a word that you didn't expect, but mm. it's, it's innocence. Like when you, whenever I approach a project, I come with, it, I come to it without any preconceived notions about the artist or the song. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm like a child who's exploring something new, and I, I just surrender to that inspiration. I don't come with my own ego or uh, like impose myself on the project. I just allow the song or the script or whatever it is to take me over and I just follow along and just, you know, place myself in a position where I'm also able to learn something from it. Mm -hmm. uh, whatever challenges are there, whether it's in terms of creating the concept or, you know, and, and good stuff always comes out of that because once you start imposing yourself and saying, I'm this person to um, a new project, you find you keep producing the same thing. Or oh, you'll be like rinse and repeat, rinse exactly. and repeat all the time. I, I get that. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what it is. You know, I just, I just, you know, listen to a project, listen to a song, and just allow it to to be the song, what it is, and and also to understand that the clients that I work with go through different processes in, in life, and they're inspired by different things. So you want to tap into that inspiration exactly. of the song? Yes. Uh, okay. yes. So question, what is the first thing that you ask a client when they come to you? Yeah. They come to a new fresh client you've never dealt with, comes to you and says, I want to make a music video. Yeah. What's the first questions that come through your mind that you ask the client? Well, the first thing is getting to know each other. Mm. Uh, because one of my biggest assets, that, that something that I hold dear to me, is the chemistry between me and the artist. Mm -hmm. Right. Before the chemistry between me and the song, and before collective ke chemistry, me, the artist, and the song, and before the bigger picture of what we are trying to create, first let's get to know each other. Who are you? What are you trying to achieve? What are you going through in life right now? I even have like bonding sessions with artists where I'm like, no, let's not discuss any business. Let's just talk about your life. What's going on? You know. Mm -hmm. So that that's one of the first things. That, and it, it's, it's very, for me, it's very beneficial because I, I then get to understand what we are trying to achieve here with this particular artist that I've never met before. Okay. And um, 
you know, someone might be trying to do this and that, but I also have a few words of advice to say, okay, I get where, you, where you're coming from, but probably let's try this and that, because I am, uh, you know, a practitioner, I am an expert, I do know things, you know. So that, that's how it is. It's, let's bond, let's get to know each other, let's listen to the song together. Let me go listen to the song by myself. Let's discuss over the phone what we're trying to achieve. Let's look at the market. Let's look at what's trending and what's not trending, and let's create something that perfectly fits into 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 the into the, the landscape of what's going on right now, without compromising your identity, my identity, and the identity of the song. Okay. Yeah. So you've done a lot of music videos, award-winning music videos, videos that have appeared on channels like uh, Channel O, MTV Base, and so on. Yeah. What do you think are the ingredients? Yeah that make a music video, like that gives it quality. Yeah. Well, let me start from the end of that question. Quality is, is a relative thing. Um, it's as much as, it's relative and at the same time, it has like um, a benchmark to it. Mm -hmm. So I would say the most important thing in terms of quality is the quality product, all in all. Mm -hmm. So that's not my job alone, that's the job of everyone who's involved in the project. From the music itself, from the produce, producers, mm -hmm. they have to do a good job. Mm -hmm. um, the mixing and mastering has to be you know, on point. Um, the concept has have to be on point. Makeup, the, you know, it has to hit a certain level that people will say, that's nice, mm -hmm. you know, to begin with. Yeah. Before we even get to, to to what else does the video offer, right? Mm -hmm. um, when it comes to, let me get technical a little bit. When it comes to the technical side of a music video and the sound as well, there are requirements that, that um, certain radio stations and TV stations have that you just you have, no point, like you have no choice but to, you know, to, to, to fall into that bracket. Yeah. So basically, you need to have, um, a good camera that records good picture, you know. That's the beginning. You can't do it with your Nokia 15300 or something. Right? I don't want, I'm not dissing any brand, but I'm just saying, just try and get as much um, like gear as you can. That will give you the clear, the clearest picture, the, the best picture, the best looking picture, the best lighting, the best everything. Just try that. But if you don't have all of that, there's other ways you can go about it. You can get a good concept and do it well, right? Because I've done, I've, I've shot videos with a smartphone and they've been on those platforms, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So there's always a give and take. It's either you have a good concept or you have good production uh, values. Okay, cool. Now, how nice is, is it for you to have good production values and a good concept and good execution? I get what you're saying. So, so if, if you, if you don't have the expensive gear and whatnot that can produce yeah. like super quality crisp images and whatnot, yeah. you can cheat by doing a poor quality intentionally. Yes, that's around the concept. But I've, I've seen I've seen I've seen music videos that have been shot on, on the best uh, cameras out there, but intentionally graded it down to just to appeal to a certain to a certain or genre or you know. Okay, I, I see what you mean, yeah. Yeah, so if you don't have that RE camera or red camera or whatever it is, and you know this idea is the one, this is what I want to do, just go with whatever you have. Yeah, you can cheat. Yeah, and the secret there, the, I would say the, the, the secret in the ingredient is, is you, the people. Mm -hmm. It's not, the cameras are fine, okay? That's like one of those things, those are tools. Mm -hmm. But the people, what are you trying to say? Do you have a story to say? Tell, what are you te how are you telling that story? And is it easily understood? Is it, does it touch people's hearts? Does it go where it's supposed to go? That is, I would say that's the most important thing. And I, I feel like a lot of people are, get hung up on, maybe I should get like this expensive $20,000 camera or that, but it doesn't have to be like that. The most important thing is yourself, the one who's creating this. Mm. Do you believe in what you're doing? Are you willing to go the extra length? to produce what's deep inside. Is your voice being heard? You do that, 
you're there with the music. Everything's there. Everything. Everything. You've got the you've got the you've got the ingredients to make a good music. Exactly. Honestly. It's it's honesty. Mm. It's honesty and it's innocence. Tell your story, live in the moment. Tell the story as it is. As a creative, should you just be bogged down when you're making a music video to say, I want my music video to be on channel O? Or are there other lucrative mediums out there that you can make just as much or just get as much notoriety without ever looking at you, at, at, at channel O and all those other TV platforms? Yeah, I, 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 get, I get that question. A lot of people think um, having that brand at the corner of the TV screen that says channel O or Trace or whatever is the ultimate goal. No, it's not. The ultimate goal is to reach as many people as you can. Mm -hmm. and influence as many people as you can mm -hmm. uh, and there are many platforms that you can do that on you've got social media and that's like for, for especially if, you, if you're starting out that's the best place for you to get feedback right away because those 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 other channels now those other platforms they will not take your stuff until they've seen what progress you've made without that mm -hmm. okay you know they want to see can we trust this brand? Can we bring this person in? Because they have so many stakeholders. Mm. So I would encourage like, like everyone who's trying to, to get into this to say, start right now, you know. Impress your parents first before you, <laughs> you go into thinking about channel O. Because channel O, once they see the kind of progress that you've made from, from the beginning of your career, they will even be calling you or texting you to say, what else do you have? Mm, okay. You know, so I, I think the, the most important thing is to for people to have confidence to start now and do what they can, put it where they can put it, share with friends until it gets to a point where you are now confident enough to push it. But if you start by thinking about channel O and trace and all that, you'll send your stuff and they'll tell you this is substandard. You never tested it out yeah. with other people yet. Yeah. Or you yeah, you never really put your stuff out exactly. That, that's probably going to crush your spirit and you'll be like, no, I can't do this. But you can. Mm -hmm. yeah. And like everyone starts from somewhere. Exactly. Like the first music video you make will probably be, be, be for life of my crack. Yeah. Like it will probably be crack. So yeah. having yeah. that experience of, okay, you fail, fail, fail. Yeah. You gain nerve from your failures exactly. and make awesome stuff exactly. from there. Yes. Great. Yeah. So let's take a music video that you've done, yeah. right? Um, how, like, can we break down a music video and see how you actually made it or your, your process in making it? Um, I would say, like, uh, in terms of, uh, for me, because I'm in really I'm into art and stuff, mm -hmm. I'm into the whole picture. So I, I like I like uh, two videos, Zamzana uh, by Japrez and also Kwaiza by Japrez. Mm -hmm. um, Okoyo is a close step, but you know, those are my two favorite one. Uh, I'll talk about, let's say, uh, Quines. Alright. It's something that everyone knows. It's, it's yeah. <laughs> is the new one. And um, the idea there was, I, I was written somewhere in, in a book and said, sometimes as, as an artist you have to mix the food with the medicine. Mm -hmm. and, and that means you have to tell an important story in an entertaining way. Mm -hmm. Right. So if you look at Quieta, it's abstract, but it is a very clear story that you can see. You have people in blackface that um, some are not too happy about it. Like this one person who's not too happy about it. And then you've got like a whole multitude of people that are, especially the models that are happy about it. They're wearing the same costumes. Mm -hmm. So in that, I was trying to say we are as the same message that Ja wrote on the song. We are Africans. Mm -hmm. right? There are things that we can run away from. So why not celebrate those things instead of trying to change ourselves? So if you look at the first part, you've got um, an, like an establishing shot of where we are, where we are, what kind of world we're operating in. It's not a modern world, but it doesn't have to be. It is modern if you look at his wearing rings. So there's, there's some manufacturing there. Mm -hmm. So there's. A suggestion of of, of a more of a, of a civilized society that wants to keep their traditions as they are, mm -hmm. even though they've made progress with um, you know technology in some way. So you see an establishing shot, and then you've got a shot of those five girls. Um, 
I, I played with numbers on this video in okay. the way that um, I always try to make sure there's one or three or five people on the screen almost every time. So what you don't like uh, bring even numbers, you just like one, one, two, three, ah, uh, one, three, five, seven, I, I, or even numbers, what's wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with even numbers. But it's just your, I just, it's just, just look your, better on the screen. Better your, yeah, right. look better on the screen. And um, you'll see there's, there's uh, five girls that you see going to, to the river mm -hmm. um, to get sustenance and they're happy they're in their costumes, the costumes are matching. That, that's just creating that, that society that no one knows. Mm -hmm. It's African but no one knows exactly where it is. And then you've got the, where, they, where they live, which is the next shot you'll see some hippos running into, into the pool, into the into lake. And then you know that's where they get their sustenance as well. So, in a way, I try to play with, with, the, with the elements. There's, there's water there. There's um, you know there's no fire. I think that's the only thing that's missing. But everything there is rhythmic, and um, I structured it in a way that uh, if if you watch it, it just feels so together. You know, it's like a society. It's like because society is like together most of the time. Yes, you'll get someone different here, there, but there's a general thing that puts all of everyone together. So that was the initial thought behind it. And uh, the next thing was to add some elements, like if you see on the next shot, there's a silent novel who's a guitarist. He was, he was a, he's a, he's a model there, and he just roars like a lion. And it's because I had a conversation with him. I said, what's your totem? Because I wanted to find something that would also touch on our African culture. I said, ah, in, in era shuma. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay, fine. I need you to roll on, on, on camera and then we're going to put the sound on. <laughs> so that, you know, points to our culture, how we are um, stemmed down by, you know, where we come from, how it is important. And then you, if you go further on, uh, you find there's a girl who's like she's her makeup is half done today and she's trying to peel off the black. That's where the message is. So remember, I said um, mixing the food with the medicine. So people have been hooked from the beginning. So the time when they start seeing this girl trying to peel off the makeup, they've already fallen in love with the makeup. Mm. And they are now wondering why is she, this girl looks so beautiful, why is she taking it off? Mm. And that's where the, the, the message of the video was. Okay. We, we are so beautiful as Africans. Why are we trying to change it? Awesome. That's, that's how it that's is. That's the message. That's the message. And she'll come back later and she's trying. And if you listen, the, the vocals are actually complimenting. Ayo, ayo, ayo. They, you know, don't do it. <laughs> you know, don't take off your Africanness. You know, and that was the whole message. So I once uh, checked something out where it said uh, music videos yeah. can be done in three ways. Yeah. They can be metaphorical. Yeah. They can be lyrical, where the artist is just singing the lyrics of the song, yeah. or they can be dance. Mm -hmm. So it looks like you lead a lot to um, the metaphoric, like this the abstract, the abstract, this, the metaphors in the song, and so on. Yeah. How much you usually blend between those three things for your music videos, or is just what the song feels like doing at that moment? It's true. There is um, you forgot the story, the storyline based one. Oh, story. So yeah, it's a medieval story. We did medieval story. Performance. There's a performance. Yeah, performance. performance. Yeah, performance. Yeah. Yeah. That's where you see like it's like Chiramuiwa with uh, Japres and it's like um, Bachura and with uh, XQ and Amar. Yeah. That's performance based and it's like uh, Show Your Body by Nati O. Performance yeah. based mm -hmm. and uh, Bugatti also by Nati O. It's all performance based. Uh -huh. We're just trying to show an artist's capabilities. Capabilities, so, that thing, exactly. we dance with age. Exactly. Yeah. The show. And then you've got abstract, mm -hmm. like uh, quiet, where you give subliminals and ask people to you know, take it in, in a way without telling them what's going on. Mm -hmm. And people usually get it. And then you've got uh, the story-based one. That's where you have uh, What You Want by Amara and, and, um, and Chengeto. Mm -hmm. And then you also have Nyarazi and Zamsa. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, there's no clear line that... Yeah, you can, you can, you can, you can mix them all exactly. together and stick them together. Yeah. yeah. So, so a, a lot of my videos have I've tried to bring the balance. 
because the artist also has to get bookings, right? Mm -hmm. And the story has to be told. Mm -hmm. And I also have to put in my artistic influence by being abstract, I'm mostly an abstract person. So in every video that you've watched done by me, you, you can find all those elements. But sometimes I would rather just go with what, especially with new artists, because I don't want to like give too much information. Just want people to, oh, there's a new artist. Wow, so great. the spotlight that uh, people exactly. and know who the artist yeah. is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I don't want to impose my own you know, self on them. It's like, you, this is your moment. Let's do it. And do it your way. And, and do it your way. You come back later. And then now we can build on what we've started. Awesome. Yeah. So this is what we, that's, 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 that's my process. Awesome. Yeah. So thank you guys for being part of the, for being part of the show. Where can people uh, find you if they want to reach you up? Uh, social media, Instagram, the uh, Facebook, that's my government name, so such that way I'd be a good man trying to spell that. <laughs> <laughs> that's your challenge for me. <laughs> and uh, Twitter, the I'm there on Twitter though, but uh, you can just check out, I just post links there. Yeah, but I think Instagram it. and Facebook, that's where you find it. Yeah. We've got a like, comment. Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> Twitter is difficult. Yeah. Yeah. But thank you viewers for, for being part of the show and hit the like and subscribe buttons and also get us on the comment section which creatives do you think that we should interview next and what lessons would you like to learn. And to my guest, Blacks, thank you so much. To the audience, goodbye.